One of the new tools that was added with HTML5 was the Vibration API. This lets you access the vibration capability in any mobile device. So I'm on the uh, Can I Use website here showing the Vibration API support. Uh, as you can see, Firefox, Chrome, Opera, and the mobile versions of those, BlackBerry 10, UC Browser, Samsung Internet, QQ, Baidu, all of those browsers on mobile devices support the Vibration API. The ones that don't support it are IE, I, uh, Microsoft Edge, Microsoft IE, the mobile version of that, and then Safari and iOS Safari. So basically, Microsoft and Apple do not support it yet, but everybody else does. So just bear that in mind when you're working with this. All right, now jumping into the code, how does this work? Well, there's a couple stages to it. First is, we need to know whether or not the Vibrate API is supported on the device. Inside the built-in navigator object, there's a property called Vibrate, and this is the object that's going to do the work of actually vibrating. Now, we have here a statement where we're checking all the different versions. Every time new APIs get added, the browsers like to create prefixed versions where they can test things out and see if they like it before they send out the finalized version. So what I'm doing here is I'm checking to see, okay, does navigator.vibrate exist? Yes. Okay, that's what I'm going to assign to this property. Or if it doesn't, check for WebKit Vibrate. Now this is the Opera and Chrome, the initial version, the beta version that they were testing out. So if that exists, that's going to go in, or if neither of these exist, then we're looking for Moz Vibrate, which is the Firefox version, and if that doesn't exist, we're looking for MS Vibrate, which is the Microsoft one, which isn't supported fully yet. All right, now, once you've picked one of these things and assigned it to Navigator.Vibrate, we test to see, does it exist? Because if none of these existed, this is going to be undefined, this is going to be false, it's a falsy value, so this code is not going to run. Next, what I'm doing is I'm adding a click listener to the body of my web page. The reason I'm doing that is some of the browsers don't want to let you use the vibration tool unless there's been some sort of event that's taken place, preferably a user event. So the user has clicked or mouse over, they've done something to activate this. But you can use any event listener that you want. I'm adding a click listener, then I'm writing up to the console that, uh, yep, yeah, okay, the click is fired. And then this is the part that we really want to talk about. Navigator.vibrate. It is a method. If you pass in the number of milliseconds here, that is how long it will vibrate for. If you want to cancel a vibration that is running, simply pass in zero as the value or an empty array as the value and it will stop the vibration from happening. Now, another thing that you can do, other than just passing in directly a single value, is you can pass an array of values. So this will be 500 milliseconds vibrating, 300 milliseconds not vibrating, and then 100 vibrating again. So 0.5 seconds, 0.3 seconds, 0.1 seconds, on, off, on. And so you can create patterns. As you can see down in the comments here, I've got a few different ones. So the James Bond theme, this is the uh, the vibration pattern for that, Super Mario, or the Darth, ba Darth Vader's uh, march, the Darth Vader theme from the Imperial March. So I have this here, but if I run this just like this, I'm not going to really get anything happening because on my laptop there is no vibration, so there's no vibration tool for me to, to fire doesn't really help. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this on my mobile device. So I have a copy of this page here and what I've done is inside of it I've just added uh, the Darth Vader theme as the vibration tool and I'm going to hold up my phone to the um, microphone to let this play. So I'm using uh, MAMP as my web server. I've got the external IP address so that my phone will access this web page and Here's my phone, and hopefully I can uh, tap on the phone and you'll be able to hear it going. And that was it. So that's the uh, Vibration API at work going through this sequence of on and off for different amounts of time. 
So you can play around. There's lots of ones out there. You can search for patterns that people have developed, or you can come up with your own. Um, the only thing that you need to keep in mind with this is that the vibration API can be evil. It will suck the life out of the battery on the mobile device. So that's one of the reasons that Apple hasn't implemented it. It's that it is such a aggressive thing for draining the battery that they don't want to give just anyone JavaScript access to do this because you could have it vibrating for a full second and then put that inside of a set uh, set interval and then have it running once a second so it's constantly vibrating until the battery's dead. Um, so use this with some common sense. Um, don't piss off your users. <laughs> use it with uh, a limited scope. Keep uh, keep the end user in mind when you're adding vibration. Don't use it constantly. Use it for very special circumstances. Alright, as always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments.